work in a variety of uh, genres with a, a variety of materials um, and that really depends on what materials are available and what I'm trying to create and what I see as the potential for those materials. Apart from going to art galleries and, and myself showing a lot of interest in, in artists, um, I didn't do much creative work in, in the art field. And then over 20 years ago I went to an exhibition of uh, Emily and Worry's work and I thought, well, uh, it's doing something for me, this work. If only I could create something that um, has that effect on other people. I think it's probably driven by um, the objects themselves, the, the beauty in them, and the fact that they've been used by other people or by someone else. So they have their own history, their own life, their own story to tell. What I've been working on for a few months now is uh, large sculptural pieces in bamboo. And these are three pieces of fruit that I've made um, specifically for the Sculpture on the Edge competition. With bamboo it's a little bit unpredictable as to uh, what shape it's going to end up. In my head I had the idea for a large vase and whether I was going to put something in it or not, I don't know. But the vase turned into a pear and I went on to make an apple and uh, finishing off a uh, banana now. It's a bit like a painting, I guess, or like any artwork. You start off from nothing, apart from the raw materials, and then you, uh, you build those up. I want people to see my work and, and be prompted into thinking about things um, and reading things into it. They might read different things than probably my intention was, and that doesn't matter. And even if it's only beauty that they see in it, or the colours resonate, or the patterns resonate, um, that is sufficient.